let's take a closer look at Wright and Gibney's sources. Meet Gary Scarf, spokesperson of the now-defunct Cult Awareness Network, a criminal deprogramming group, many of whose members were arrested and convicted of assault, battery, and kidnapping. Gary Scarf has admitted to his participation in the seizure, forcible detention, imprisonment, beatings, and traumatization of 42 separate individuals. What's also been documented as fact is that Gary Scarf is a serial liar. He once claimed in a lawsuit his mother was born in Israel. She was born in Missouri. He also maintained he was Jewish when he admitted later to being Catholic. In media interviews, Gary Scarf professed to have been a member of the People's Temple, where he said he lost his family in 1978 in the mass tragedy at Jonestown. Uh, she went to Guyana, as well as did my young son. And uh, my father, of course, went down to Guyana. Um, they all perished, all three. He repeated this story over and over to the press for nearly 10 years. I had a sexual relationship ongoing with Jim Jones himself because Jim demanded it of me. Ultimately, Gary Scarf was forced to admit in a court declaration that his entire Jonestown story was an elaborate hoax. I was never in Jonestown, I lost no relatives there, and my father is still alive. The entire story was a fabrication. But these and other lies finally caught up with the Cult Awareness Network, which was forced to declare bankruptcy and no longer exists. Even after his Jonestown hoax was exposed, unbelievably, Gary Scarf next invented another story, that he was a Scientologist and a Scientology staff member. He never was. But he used this story to sell a series of false and defamatory tales to the tabloid media so that he could become a paid witness in court cases. He provided testimony for a now disgraced attorney by the name of Graham Barry. This time, it did not take long for Scarf's lies to be exposed. In fact, Lawrence Wright's chief corroborator, a known suborner of perjury named Mike Rinder, had already exposed Scarf's lie when he wrote to a reporter, Scarf was never a Scientologist or a staff member of the church any more than Scarf's wife and child died at Jonestown. Nevertheless, enter Lawrence Wright in 2011. In rounding up his sources, a collection of what's been reported as a posse of lunatics, Lawrence Wright dusts off Gary Scarf, apparently without so much as a background check. Wright credits Scarf as the source of a tale about being a bank teller who was forced to comply with a robbery in order to pay off his debt to the church. But Gary Scarf not only never was a Scientologist, there was no debt and there never was such a robbery. In fact, Gary Scarf himself recanted his story under oath as a complete fiction, admitting that he had never been a member of the church. Yet Lawrence Wright presents Gary Scarf as a credible source. Even when the church publicly exposed Lawrence Wright's journalistic irresponsibility in repeating Gary Scarf's false tales, Wright defended himself by saying he believed the man because his attorney was sitting next to him. Attorney, if you can call him that. That would be the aforementioned Graham Barry, whose license to practice law was suspended by the state of California for making fraudulent allegations about the church. And all is sworn to by his client, Gary Scarf. I provided 17 days of sworn deposition testimony, manufacturing one lie after another for Barry's use against the Church of Scientology. I made up a story that I had conspired with church lawyers to murder Cannes' executive director. I completely fabricated the story with the knowing participation of Mr. Barry. When I became concerned about my perjury, Barry assured me not to worry. He said he would take care of it. So Lawrence Wright trusted Gary Scarf because his attorney was present. The attorney that coached Scarf to lie under oath. By negligence or design, Lawrence Wright has chosen to conceal the truth about Gary Scarf, even after Gary Scarf has admitted the stories he fed Wright were utter fiction. So here's what we have. Gary Scarf, 
violent deprogrammer and self-admitted serial liar to the media, to the courts, and to the public. Presented as fact by Lawrence Wright, swallowed whole by Alex Gibney, and greenlit by Sheila Nevins, HBO's head of documentaries and family programming, who seems to know what to do with bad television. And HBO is a great place to sweep your mistakes under the carpet. 